we are back. And it's time for sex. Hello everybody, how's it going? Hope you're all doing great. It is finally FAQ time again. So as always, I went onto my socials and I asked you to ask me some questions. So now I get to answer the best ones for you. Let's go! Since your new house is going to be bigger, does that mean your drum set is gonna grow in size as well? <laughs> you know what, Dylan? Maybe, but probably not. I don't know, I've always wanted to get uh, some Octobons or Rocket Toms, whatever they call them. Just more shit that I'm probably never gonna use, but you know, no, I'd use it. I'm just mainly stoked that I'm gonna have a lot more room to work with and I'm not gonna be like, tiptoeing around stuff in the basement, trying to like not step on things or walking in between things, trying to get from one side of the room to the other because there's, there's shit all over the floor. Whenever I'm filming stuff, there's always shit just like behind the camera that you can't see. And whenever I change the camera angle, I just move all the shit to the other side of the room so you can't see it. But hopefully we're gonna be a lot more organized this time. We're gonna be getting some of those Ikea wardrobe things that we're gonna like put on the wall and there's gonna be a big drawers in them so I can like actually put my stuff in drawers and stay organized and not just have shit all over the couch. It's gonna be great. What are you going to do if your new neighbors hate the drums? Soundproofing. Too bad my wife's not home right now because she knows all the exact details of the soundproofing that we put in the basement, like with the actual builders of the house. All I know is we got some kind of special insulation for the walls and for the ceilings and some kind of decoupling tape that helps with sound. I, I don't know what it's actually called, but something like that. And if we still get complaints, then uh, we're gonna have to soundproof even more, but I guess we'll you know, take one step at a lime. Would you rather fight one Lars-sized duck or 100 duck-sized Larses? <laughs> Cheers from Ireland, oh yeah. Well, if you remember last week's video, top 10 hardest hitting drummers, I might have mentioned wanting to eat Lars's poop. And I think that 100 duck-sized Larses would produce a lot more poop than one Lars-sized duck. So let's go with 100 duck-sized Larses just because there would be that much more poop for me to eat. What song for you is the biggest kick in the calf to play on the drums? Well, there's a few I could think of. First of all is Hear Me by Devin. That song is very, very difficult. Put it this way, if another drummer would have played Hear Me and I would have heard it like the exact same way that I played it, but it was a different drummer, I would have been like, dude, there's no way I could play that. Devin really pushed me on that song and I'm glad he did because that's one of my most proud performances that I've done. Most proud, is that even how you say that? Proudest? Okay, before we get to the next question, it's time for a word from this week's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives, and they have thousands of inspiring classes, and a lot of these are pretty relevant right now. What do you want to learn? Animation, creative writing, film and video, graphic design, music. Got some business stuff over here too, it never hurts to brush up on that stuff. What's also great is that there's classes for beginners, or if you're just curious about a topic, and there's also classes for experts and professionals who want to further sharpen their skills. Here we go, Learn Guitar, The Complete Beginner's Guide with Teacher Mark Barnacle. And as the title suggests, this one is for beginners. Even shows you how to tune the guitar, we got some chord introductions and some scales. Sounds pretty good. And each Skillshare class will include a combination of video lessons and a class project at the end that makes it even more fun. Skillshare members get unlimited access to any of the classes on their site, and remember, there's thousands of classes. And most of them are under 60 minutes, so it's pretty easy to fit them into your schedule. There's also live classes too if you like real-time interaction. And it's curated specifically for learning, meaning there's no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes. It's also really affordable, at less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the first 1,000 people that use the link in my description are gonna get a free trial to Skillshare's premium membership. How about that? Accomplishing growth is extremely satisfying and Skillshare's classes help make that possible. Give it the try. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and for hosting such a great community of fellow creatives who provide encouragement and inspiration. Oh, you're... When are you going to contact Nick Barker for a chat on your channel? He's been doing a lot of interviews lately. You know what, Julian? That is a pretty fucking good idea. If he's been doing a lot of interviews lately, though, maybe I should get him uh, for some kind of drumming video. I'll have to hit him up and see if he's able to record any kind of drumming content. If he's not, then maybe I could ask you guys what you would want me to ask Nick. That, that would be kind of cool for an interview, but look, we'll, we'll see what happens, huh? I'll try to reach out to him if I remember and, you know. Cause yeah, he's one of my favorite drummers of all time, so that would be like, first of all, a dream come true, and second of all, sex. What is your favorite guilty pleasure song? <laughs> if you guys have been watching my Twitch gaming streams lately, you would know the answer to this already, but uh, it's gonna be 22 by Taylor Swift, not even joking. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 20. Which idol do you most regret not meeting? 
I had a chance to meet Alexi back in 2015 when Children of Bodom was supporting Megadeth, but my nerves got the better of me. We'll never get another chance now. You know what, Tom? We share the exact same idol that we most regret not meeting. And the worst part about my situation was that it wasn't even my fault that I wasn't able to meet Alexi. This was all the way back when I was still in high school. I was probably 16 or 17 years old. I lived in New Jersey and Children of Bodom was playing at the Trocadero in Philadelphia and they were doing a meet and greet two hours before the show. And I was so effing excited to meet Bodom because even back then they were one of my favorite bands. So my friends Steve and Chris Cook were supposed to drive us to the show and they did drive us to the show, but what happened was they ended up being over an hour late to pick me up at my house. And by the time we got to Philly, the meet and greet was over and Children of Bodom had already went to the venue and I was like, are you fucking kidding me, you guys? You were an hour late picking me up and now I didn't get to meet my fucking heroes. And I've seen Children of Bodom multiple times since then, but I just, there was never a meet and greet or anything like that. And I never wanted to just like shove myself backstage for any Bahi reason just to meet them. I, I don't know. What's the moral of that story? Well, I guess I should have just driven myself to Philadelphia instead of rely on a ride. But that's okay, Chris and Steve Cook. I love you guys. Hope you're doing well, if you even see this video. <coughs> Are you going to put out a signature stick with Vic Firth? I've seen them in a couple of your videos. Yeah, people have been asking me about this a lot. And I don't know if there's gonna be, you know, I, yeah, I don't know how we're gonna do it. We might just have to go to the post office ourselves and ship them, but that's a pain in the calf. I don't know, maybe every couple of months we'll do like a 22 sticks limited run and just, I wanna help you guys out with that. A lot of you have been asking for the sticks. I wanna get them in your hands and up your butts. Gotta make it happen. Does your wife play drums? I'd like to see that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My wife does not play drums, but she did used to play bass. She doesn't really play anymore, and she doesn't think she was very good, but I've been trying to, uh, you know, egg her on to get her in a video playing bass for me or for something. It would also be fun to try to teach her to play drums for a YouTube video as well, if she would be down for doing that, but, uh, you know. Just gotta throw some eggs at her. I've got a question. Why do I see your content in my timeline? Well, if you're not subscribed to my channel, then I, I, I can't answer that for you. Maybe YouTube's broken. <laughs> what do you think about Scar Symmetry? If you have not listened to them, I do recommend listening to them. Scar Symmetry is fucking great. And their guitarist, Pierre Nielsen, dude, some of the best guitar solos and leads I have ever heard. They make me cry like a body. Any double bass tips? Practice. Are you secretly a robot programmed to play the fastest drums possible? Well, that's very, uh, that's very nice of you to say, but uh, no, I'm a human. If you watch my drum streams, you would know that I fuck up all the time. And no, not fastest drums possible. There's probably thousands of drummers out there that could play a million times faster than me, but thanks for the kind words, buddy. I appreciate that. How many mics do you use to record? Do you prefer having drums mixed from audience or player perspective? Currently, there are only four microphones on my kit. There are two overhead mics, and then I have two more on the sides to pick up the hi-hats and the rides a little closer. And I did recently replace all four of those microphones. They are now the Rode NT55. They are great, dude. They are super loud. Definitely recommend them. And in terms of audience or player perspective, I guess usually when I'm just listening to something, I will prefer audience perspective. That's just my preference, but for mixing a video, I guess it depends on how many more drum angles, like camera angles, I should say, how many are in front of the kit, how many are behind the kit, like the perspective. I think lately though, I've been doing drummer perspective, even though I have had the camera in front of me. I guess that kind of makes it a little more confusing, but what can I say? I'm Bakab. What are your drum sizes? Ah, uh, you would know the answer to this question if you go to 66samus.com slash gear. How do I go about relearning heel toe with the toe first like you? I learned it the traditional way, and don't refer me to Drumeo for the 22nd time. Hmm, uh, okay, first of all, Rectal Sniff, thank you for the question. Second of all, uh, doing heel toe, toe first, I'm not sure where you got the idea that I do it toe first, I don't think I've ever seen anyone do it toe first. Is it even possible to do it toe first? And, geez, oh, you don't want me to refer you to Drumeo for the 22nd time. Well, the only other thing I can think of is just leaving about five seconds of blank space in this video where I would be referring you to Drumeo for the 22nd time. Will you come to my slumber party after COVID goes bye-bye? Mm, maybe? Do you promise not to touch me in my sleep? Are you gonna watch the Mortal Kombat movie? Probably but maybe first perhaps I should go back and watch the original Mortal Kombat movie because I've still never seen that. Ugh. There's way too many classic movies that I just haven't seen. 
like Big Lebowski. Can you guys believe I have not seen that movie? Every time I say that I've never seen that movie, there's always somebody in the chat or comments that's like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Is Shark Week going to be an actual thing on the channel? Oh, 100%, yes. And I wasn't joking when I said that I still want you guys to keep sending me more farts. Email them to me, please. Samus at 66samus.com. Record your farts. <coughs> Email them to me. <coughs> and sex. <coughs> Can I come over and play your drums? <laughs> na, 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 na. I mean, not today. How to pime your snare drum in 10% second. Um, rub your balls on it. Yo, it's blank page. He says, what was the first metal song that changed your life? Well, as bucky as this sounds, I think it was Enter Sandman. That might have been the first metal song that I ever heard. After that, I just started getting into more Metallica. Went and bought all their CDs one by one. Yeah, dude. Enter fucking Sandman. Why do you use an expensive kit when you use triggers? For the memes. What program are you using live for the cameras to switch automatically? Also, OBS as the main program for all the cameras going in or a different program? Yeah. I do use OBS for all the cameras, not Streamlabs OBS. I That one kind of screwed up my computer, but regular OBS is, is great. And I believe the plugin that I'm using is called Advanced Scene Switcher. You, you just go on YouTube and search OBS Advanced Scene Switcher. You'll find it and there's like videos on how to install it and how to get it going. You can set how many seconds between each camera switch, all that stuff. It's, it's great. How many hours of Raid Shadow Legends have you played? You know what? I don't even want to know. Because <laughs> a lot of times... I will leave the computer on overnight uh, farming stuff for me. So that in itself is just ridiculous. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. You know what? I think we're done. <laughs> Alrighty then, I guess that's gonna do it for today. Thank you to everyone who submitted questions for this video. You guys are the best. And most of all, thank you for watching. I can't keep doing this without you guys, and I fucking love ya. You know what else? This concludes our broadcast cape!